Oh, hey. Now more soldier. Yes. Do you, uh, you want to get out of here? Oh! No, never mind. I'm, I'm leaving you here with the manure. That's what you deserve. That's what you get to eat. Ooh. Okay, I like the, um... I like the bandit throne, the marauder throne. Seems like Wilfharth and his crew caught an Imperial scout slinking around the old Dwemer ruins at the lake near Haytar's cave. Normally they notice they well away from our side of the island. After some time on the rack, he mentions something about his employer recently coming into possession of a Dwemer cube that would open the entrance to a sealed ruin in the area. This could be a fortuitous find indeed, and our storeroom at Blind Robber's Bluff has space yet for more treasure. I'll send a couple men over by the boat to relieve the dockmaster of his little acquisition, then put together a crew to plunder the ruin. By the sounds of it, a small group recently pushed through Fort Moonwatch from the docks, so they're going to have to make their approach from the north if they want to avoid contact with the Imperial soldiers returning from the mainland. You know what that means. That means now we're going to Fort Moonwatch. I like your, uh, your humming. You know what, you're staying in there, but... Foos! That was oh. amazing! What? I can't hit her with my shout if she's in the cage? Don't mock me by saying that was amazing. I'm leaving you in there, but I certainly don't like you. Well, obviously, I don't like you if I'm leaving you in there. You know what I mean. Now, the only thing is, if I could just get you to fight her and leave me alone... That'd be pretty sweet, but I'm not taking any chances. You're both gonna stay here forever. You're both gonna die of old age, of hunger, of thirst. It's what you all deserve. So the Marauder's Journal doesn't mention going to Fort Muwatch. It mentions being north of Fort Moonwatch, and that's where they're gonna stage their attack. So I don't think we really have to go in here necessarily. It sounds like rather we have to find a location to the north. And I don't think I had this marker before. I don't think I had Horker Isle marked before. I could be wrong. It is north, so if nothing else, let's start heading in that direction. Are those wolves? Are those... Yeah, here we go! Oh, it didn't send them flying. No, it doesn't send animals flying, only people. Maybe, uh... Knock targets into the air. Maybe it's just people, it's hard to say. We'll, we'll find some more Marauders. I'm sure we'll find more human enemies. I'd be amazed if we didn't. Okay, well there's a boat, so this is a, a good sign, right? Just keep your eye peeled for a journal. Just keep your eyes open. Hello, mud crab. <laughs> nope, didn't really send him flying. I was hoping. I was really, really hoping. <gasps> Marauder's last words. Here we go. Oh, God, I get with the blood. It was an ambush. The witchers damned those witches to oblivion. Which means... Well, the first journal mentioned where the witches were from, mentioned their coven. I don't know if I have that discovered. It said map updated, so... I guess I have it discovered, otherwise I'd have another new unmarked location on my map. Oh! Nope, that's it. Belenir's Borg. That's where we're going. Oh, and that's great, because I was wondering if there would be anything fancy on that island at that location. And there is indeed something fancy, so I'm very happy. You think we're going to have anything cool on Hork Ryle? Do you think I can just bat him around with my uh, club? Is gonna get, is it going to send him flying? Yeah, there it is! So maybe it's the thing of it doesn't send them flying if they die on hit. Only if they're still like alive after getting hit. <laughs> oh. Because that's the thing. The worst part of Fuus Roda is um, having the cooldown. But this? No cooldown. Just again and again 
and again and again. And granted, it's just going to take infinitely longer to kill anyone, but this is at least way more entertaining. This is at least way more fun. It's like playing bowling, but with animals. It's like <laughs> flesh bowling. As terrifying as I thought that is. As terrifying as that sounds. Alright. I gotta start killing them, because otherwise I'm just gonna be here all day. Oh, there's quite a few workers here. I'm just looking at all the uh, the red dots right now. And... Boop. I was hoping that would kill him. Nope, that didn't kill him either. There we go, finally. Yeah, it doesn't kill them, or it doesn't um, knock them around if it kills them. They kind of stay exactly where they are if they die. Don't worry, you get battered around too. I promise, I promise. Look at them trying to flee. They know they cannot withstand my might. Oh, you're coming back for more? Oh, is that it? Boop. And one for you too. Boop. I also like how I'm hitting them like smack down on the head and they just fly outwards. It's fantastic. Oh god, I feel like this is going to be a massive dungeon. I love seeing the fog and the the clouds coming off of the aisle. Like that's that's beautiful right there. Oh. That's a rock. Are they throwing rocks at me? I heard you were mages, not, uh, barbarians. Honestly, I'm still just trying to find a way onto the island itself. I've just been circling, trying to find a way up. We've got another Dwemer Ruin? This one's gonna be locked as well, isn't it? Because it's gonna be an elevator. Yep, Dwemer Lift discovered. It's on the same island, though. What if... Frostwind Folly connected the rest of all of these lifts that I was finding. What if Frostwind Folly really was just connecting kind of all these underground passages across the rest of the island? Sorry, I uh, stole your baked potatoes. You're not going to need them. Good news is we finally found a way onto the island itself. This place is massive! This place is huge! Also a little quiet. Too quiet for my tastes. These witches really did want to be left alone. These witches just got their own private island. Off the main island of Wormstooth. And just said, yeah, no one bother us. Yeah, everyone leave us alone. They just had to get greedy. They just had to steal back, um... Oh, it didn't send him flying. They just had to get greedy and, um... Steal back the Dwemer Cube, huh? That's just bad business right there. That's just bad business sense. If you trade... The cube for safe passage, you can't go and then steal the cube back. That's just rude. Oh, you're... You're friendly. Oh, maybe... May Maybe. Oh yeah, no, she, she's friendly. She's um, helping me fight the shades. Okay, you give me a second and I'll come back and talk to you. I was not expecting a friendly face. You uh, threw me off a little bit. Oh, never mind. She won't talk to me. Nothing to say, huh? Well, you stay here. And you don't do anything. Okay? The reason I'm so curious about her is because she fought the Corrupted Shades, so they weren't part of the same faction. Okay, well, you're what hostile. Was that? Come on. <laughs> here we go. Oh, God. I'm sorry, she was uh, stuck there when I found her. Okay, good, I knocked her out of there. 
Lindora's just gonna be very upset when I go outside and I tell her I murdered all her friends. You know, this is not the most effective weapon, or rather it's not the best weapon damage-wise, but man oh man is it fun to just knock everyone down. Alright, as, as much as I'm enjoying it, we're not gonna kill anyone in a timely manner with that. But I did hockey it so he can very quickly switch back to it if we just want to incapacitate people. We just want to knock people down and stunlock them a little bit. Oh, there you are. There you are. I was wondering where you were. You're pathetic. Says the dead lady. I just want the cube. I really have no quarrel with you guys at all. Just give me the cube and I will go on my merry way. Oh Jesus, this place is going to be massive, isn't it? <laughs> she was about to attack. She was right about to attack. Oh, I did not give her a chance. I didn't even hesitate. A little bit of uh, casual torture going on here. No big deal, obviously. Oh, God. Uh, um... Down we go. I really hope there's water down here. There is. Okay, thank God. Well, that theory about the Dwemer lift is looking better and better now. I really hope the, uh, the cube wasn't in there, because I just dropped down. I did not hesitate. I saw a hole and I went for it. I saw that hole and I plunged right in. Is this going to be the lift back to, um, the service is going to be the lift that I saw before? I think it is. I mean, hey, let me just open that while I'm here. Just for easy access in the future. But this is still all of... Or this is still part of Belenir's box. This is all still the same... The cell, Jesus. A little bit bigger than I expected. This is a little... Bigger than I had anticipated. I'm not sure if I sh should expect to find the cube down here. Not too sure about that one right now. Nothing down here, it seems. I was curious. I was wondering. No, I think that's... It for Belenir's Borg. Yeah, in that case, I have a feeling that the... Cube is up there, and I just missed it. Let me just check the Falmer's tent real fast in case he stole it, in case he was hoarding it for himself. And... I didn't think so. Well, in that case, we gotta go back. In that case, let's head back to the surface and re-explore the Borg itself. Still nothing to say, huh? I'm just, I'm very suspicious of you. The fact that you're named has me so suspicious. I don't know how many other kind of voiced quests there would be. I mean, it's very possible that there will be more voiced quests as we go on, but... I really don't know. Now the question is, am I looking for another journal, or am I looking for... the, um... the cube itself? The problem being that I shouted all these books down in the library, so... if the journal is one of them, then I'm a little screwed. I'm a little in trouble.
So this is where I ran into a little bit of trouble. I could not find the witch's journal. I did look it up, and it's supposed to be upstairs on one of the end tables, and there was just nothing there. I searched this place top to bottom, so I spawned it in for myself instead. As if we didn't have enough headaches, first it was the Marauders stealing our shipments, then it was the dragon burning down the caravans, but now we have to deal with the Thalmor as well. They arrived a week ago and set up camp along the coast just a short distance from our fort. I bolstered our defenses the best I could in the short time we've had, and called upon the sisters to raise as many skeletons as they can muster. I know, it's not much of an army. Skeletons are traditionally frail, but Agneta's necromantic prowess has been able to bolster their strength. It might be enough to ward off the Thalmor at least for now. In a very strange turn of events, it would seem that the Dwemer Cube we traded to the Dockmaster in exchange for facilitating the delivery of our supplies from High Rock has returned to our possession. One of our sisters dispatched a small party of marauders that encroached the waters nearby the castle near Horker Isle. Lo and behold, one of them had the cube on their person. I can only assume that means the Dockmaster met an untimely death by their hands. I plan on trading the cube to the warlocks at Krakavessa in exchange for their assistance in dealing with the Thalmor. Despite our past rivalries, I'm sure they can understand the problem. The Thalmor oppose if they are allowed to continue amassing their forces here. So, uh, back to, uh, Krakavessa then. Now, here's the other thing. The way that this quest was structured is it's meant to spawn each journal after you find the previous one. So, I'm guessing something just kind of messed up where this one did not spawn. I am hoping that spawning this journal for myself doesn't cause issues for the, uh, the final part of the quest, or rather the final part of this sequence of events in finding the, uh, the cube. But figured I'd share that with you guys, figured I would share just all that information with you. I was really, really wondering if I was just missing something. I was really wondering if I was just missing the journal, and everything I found online said it should be upstairs on the, uh, the end table in the bedroom section of... Belenir's Bog. Belenir's Borg. Oh. Is that a little bit of a seam in the sky, or is that just me? Calm down, sky. <laughs> the world is breaking, the world is falling apart, and we are all bearing witness to it now. Alright, back to uh, Carcavessa, which is massive and huge, and I'm gonna get lost in. Baismir, you. Ah! <laughs> What's that? Baismir, Oh god, I haven't even been to this part of Karkavessa before, so. Oh, we're gonna be in here a while. Oh, we're gonna be here a while. Let's hope I can find this goddamn cube. I can find this goddamn lexicon. <gasps> oh. Here we go. We got it. Oh, and I remember this is where we found the, uh, the bard dude, the poet, who we've read his wonderful, absolutely fantastic poetry. Oh. Alright, we did it. At long last. All because I saw Frostwind Folly and wanted to go in. Have we been on this <laughs> winding... Long journey. Oh my god. Alright. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Am I gonna be able to get inside? Is there gonna be some sort of, like, giant lift that comes out of the water or something? Because as of now, I'm just not really sure what even is gonna happen when I plop the lexicon down. Alright. Oh god, I'm gonna get lost getting out of here. We'll, we'll make it there sooner or later. We'll... Get out of here at some point. Oh, thank god I made it. It wasn't too bad. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us. Now, this took infinitely longer than I really expected it to. But, <laughs> long last. <gasps> Ooh, okay. So kind of inverse of what I suggested. I said maybe a tower would rise out of the water. No. 
we're just gonna drain the swamp, huh? And I see the path to get down there. Oh, now will I be able to open up that door that I swam down to and then drowned trying to open? Wait, how do they expect me to get out of here? Oh, no, 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 I <laughs> went the wrong way. Thought I saw the path down, I did not. Oh yeah, no, and it uncovers all of the, um... Uh, the pathways, the structures, okay, this is really, really cool. It's still going, Jesus. I just had to try and swim down, didn't I? I just had to be that guy, huh? It's a very sturdy water wheel to <laughs> have opened up all of this to have, uh, to drain this entire thing. Let's uh, let's settle some people down here. Let's make this into a little town. You know, with the imminent threat of drowning at any point. Hello? How big is this place gonna be? Now that I've gotten here, is this just the beginning? Is just... Is this just the start of it? I mean, someone's been through here. Someone destroyed all the spiders and the centurion spheres and... This is very ominous. I'm a little concerned. Oh, never mind, you're the one who killed everyone. Never mind, that's less exciting. What if that was it? What if that was literally it for this place? That'd be a real slap in the face, frankly. I'm still assuming this is going to connect to one of the other Dwemer lifts that I saw. One of the ones back on the surface around here that was locked. <gasps> Ooh, okay, we got one of the fancy Dwemer domes. Oh, I know where we're going. <laughs> it's gonna hurt a little bit. Only a little. It's fine. Listen, after the run around to get here... I guess you could say I'm a little anxious, I'm a little uh, excited to get inside. Oh, it's you. I should have guessed as much. Excuse me? You were expecting me? Well, it's not like your presence on this island has gone unnoticed. Nor would I expect anyone else to be stupid enough to go to such great lengths to explore this long-lost Dwemer ruin. Yes, your reputation does indeed precede you. And yet I would ask you a service now that you What are you, and why are you here? What am I? Hmm. I suppose it's been a long time since I was a human. Like you, but prettier. So much prettier. Well, joke's on you. Now I'm prettier than you. I was once a young witch of the rich, under the tutelage of the hags. They shared their knowledge with me. And offered me power. In exchange for my humanity, that is. Such as it has always been.
always been. The more powerful you become, the less you resemble who you were. Your power too corrupts you. With each dragon soul you devour, you become less human. We are more alike than it seems. At least I still look human. I came to this island seeking solitude. Yes, the powerful have a habit of being drawn to each other. Like you and I right now. Is she flirting with me? What do you need? It is but a simple thing, really. Not something that would trouble the heart of a grizzled adventurer such as yourself. Keep talking. All I need is... a moment of your passionate love. I'm fresh out. What? <laughs> Wait, what? No, just no, I, I can't. I'm married. Sure, I've had worse. No, I have not. I'm married. Then it'll be our little secret, won't it? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, what happens on Worm's Tooth stays in Worm's Tooth? I don't think so. No, just no. I was already engaged to a Hagraven once. Never again. What? Am I more woman than you can handle? You're more bird than woman. And here I thought all you adventurers wanted was a little adventure. That's what you're calling it nowadays. If I don't want that adventure. your mind and truly want to help someone out in need, you know where to find me. Right here. All alone. All alone. Okay, I get it. You're alone. Is that it? I just came all this way for some... Hagraven? Oh... Is there no treasure? Is there nothing here? We should've let the Marauders come all this way. We should've let them do this. Oh, and she laid an egg. Well, no, never mind. It's a chicken egg. It's not her egg. Alright, I'm gonna take one for the team. And by team, Changed I mean the viewers. Ready to give an old bird a time she'll never forget. Oh god, just close your eyes, everyone. Close your eyes, plug your ears. You don't want to see or hear this. Oh, on the contrary. You will never have better. You have no idea how many techniques I have been working on over the centuries. Oh god. Now, come over here. Make yourself comfortable and let me share Debella's blessing. I'm doing this for you guys. I'm certainly not doing it for me. Oh, oh she was gonna say something about me sweet talking her. Oh, now she doesn't want to talk. Wow, alright. Now you won't even look at me? Now you won't even talk to me? I think it said I got something. I got... Alka's Staff. Cast on a nearby surface, it explodes for 40 points of fire damage when enemies come near. What is it? That's no way to talk to me, honey bun. Now just walk forward a little bit. Oh, she's not gonna attack?! Oh, she doesn't turn hostile?! Try not to knock anything over. Man! You know, I, I gotta kill her. Frankly. Because if she's alive, that means she can tell someone what I did. And I can't be having that. No, 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 I can't be having that. Oh. Well, um, that's what this was all for. For a little bit of, uh, Hagraven under the sheets action. And a staff that I probably just won't use much of because, frankly, it's me. Well, that's a quest. And that's a hell of a quest to end on.
Thank you for watching Wormstooth here on Skyrim Saturday. Like I said when we first started, I was really excited to see how the mod held up, given that it was really one of the first big quest mods that we ever got for Skyrim. In the end, I think Wormstooth holds up pretty well. I think that it's a masterclass for level design and exploration, and it had a well-crafted but straightforward main questline. Voice acting was solid, the original soundtrack was incredible, and the couple puzzles that we ran across were fun and engaging. I also think that one thing that Wormstooth really succeeds at is emulating a very vanilla experience. What I mean by this is that Wormstooth and the way that quests are structured feels very reminiscent of what you might expect from vanilla content in Skyrim, and in that sense, it feels like a really natural addition to the game. That's also to say that at times, it doesn't necessarily have the most depth to its quests, but we're also talking about a mod that came out in 2012. What I personally would love to see, if Jonksu is up to it of course, is to expand on some of the existing locations in the mod. Maybe add a couple more quests, a couple new voiced characters, stuff like that. I think it could really help bring some of the side locations to life a little bit more. But even without more quests and characters, Wormstooth is a paradise for explorers. And if you mainly want a mod where you can spend plenty of time in new dungeons, caves, and barrows, this is absolutely a mod that you should be playing. I ran into a couple bugs myself, and I wonder if maybe they're more isolated incidents. The first bug being that it seemed that one of the journals didn't spawn for the unmarked quest involving Frostwind. I did try reloading that save outside of the Witch's Holdout to see if it would spawn the book in, but nothing. Given that the books only spawn once the previous one has been obtained, it's very easy to miss this quest, or should you run into the bug that I did, you might not be able to complete it at all. The second bug I ran into, or possible bug since I'm not sure, was that the settlement of Stone Hollow never seemed to be rebuilt and repaired. For all I know, there's a certain amount of time you have to wait, but I waited around three in-game weeks and saw no progress or improvement, and that's on top of the time I spent exploring the island, doing quests, so on and so forth. I know there's no new quests once the town is fully repaired and it's mainly the tavern that gets added in, but I was still hoping to see it for myself. Another thing that I want to praise Wormstooth for is the new spells that it adds. In addition to the Phantom Form Shout, Wormstooth adds several spell tomes for spells from previous Elder Scrolls games, such as Ease Burden and Cure Disease. But it also adds a couple new spells as well, including Conjure Draugr Deathlord, Conjure Dragon Priest, and even Conjure Mudcrab. It helps Wormstooth feel like it's really aiming to be a full DLC experience, rather than being strictly just a quest mod. In the end, I'm walking away from Wormstooth with a very positive reception. The criticisms I have are more so personal nitpicks than anything, and are mainly coming from someone who enjoys story content and quests. And seeing as I just came from interesting NPCs, I've been spoiled in that regard. If you haven't played Wormstooth yet, I highly recommend it. I think it complements Skyrim really really well. It feels like it could by and large be an official DLC for the game, and it gives you plenty of new spells and unique gear to take with you when you're done and you return to Skyrim. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time, here on Skyrim Saturday. Bye-bye.